In today's episode of Tips and Tricks Using Mastercam, I am going to show you how milling tool and holder definitions now support the use of 3D solid models. In previous versions, you would have to generate a flat 2D profile for this purpose. Now, in Mastercam 2017 and Mastercam for SolidWorks 2017, models saved in the step format can be used to define tools and holder profiles. Let me show you how this works. To begin, we will look at some files that are available for download from tooling manufacturers. The STEP acronym stands for the Standard for Exchange of Product Model Data. Mastercam can read many file formats and has the ability to save in the STEP format. One thing we need to do is make sure the model is aligned along the Z-axis and set at the origin. Next, we will look at a holder. In this example, the manufacturer's model includes the taper which goes inside the spindle. We will trim the body back to the gauge line, position it just like the cutting tool, and save it as a STEP file. Finally, I make a toolpath, and in this window on the tool branch, I right click and select Create New Tool. I click this button to link the tool geometry to an external file and select the step model. Mastercam shows the process tool in the preview window here. I click OK, then move on to the holder branch where I click New Holder and select the file I want to link. Once the profile is read, I click OK and finish. It's that easy. As you can see, this new development in Mastercam tool definition technology will help save both time and effort. Well, that's it for this episode from SimQuest TV and the 2 Minute Tuesdays Mastercam channel. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.